almost eighteen thousand dollars in my very Indeed, first. This was yesterday, actually. Changing uh, people's lives, and I want you to have twenty-seven hundred dollars worth of commissions. In nine days, TikTok sent me over fifteen thousand dollars. This one creator managed to generate $22,000 using a 50 second TikTok shop affiliate AI generated video in the last seven days. And the crazy thing is they're not the only one. There's hundreds of other examples of people that are doing this right now. Another example, which you can see here is another creator who managed to generate $111,000 again in under seven days, leveraging AI with an AI created video as a TikTok shop affiliate. Coming up in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to go about creating your own AI generated video step by step specifically for TikTok shop affiliate money making purposes. I'm going to walk you through from step one all the way up until a finished video, which you should also have a similar result if you followed everything that I mentioned from beginning up until the end of the video. So if that sounds good to you, so come close but not too close and let's get into the source. My name is Victor and welcome to Creator Bug where we help you create content, ditch your nine to five and live the life that you want. So one weird question from me, I am a coffee man. Do you prefer coffee or do you prefer tea? Comment down below so I can check how many people are similar to me. And you guys are so spoiled. I am literally about to give you a free blueprint for how to recreate a video that generated 22,000 in under seven days. And I have got the other example here as well of the creator that generated $111,000 in under seven days as a TikTok shop affiliate. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, as you can see, I like to spoil my subscribers. Um, please consider subscribing. People will charge you for the information that I'm about to give you. And also do grab your pen, notepad, and I would save this video somewhere so you can always just revisit it if you ever need to go back and re-watch it. But my ideal outcome is that by the end of this video, you will have a similar type of video to these videos here that I've generated all this sweet, sweet TikTok shop affiliate commission. The tool that I'm using here, by the way, is called Kalo Data. I've linked it in the description so you can see hundreds of other examples of creators that are absolutely smashing it when it comes to the TikTok creativity, when it comes to the TikTok affiliate program. Um, I'm thinking of my old days now talking about the creativity program beta, which, by the way, I've got a ton of videos on that as well as case studies on that as well. I've got a playlist dedicated directly to the creativity program beta, but I digress. So this version of Kalo data is obviously the United States, but there's a bunch of other countries, as you can see, that you can see information from um, regarding TikTok shop affiliate. So without um, wasting any further time. Um, so what you want to do firstly, if you're trying to replicate a similar type of videos to these examples that I have shown you here, the first thing we want to think about is the script. So the script is going to highlight the core benefits of the product and it's going to generate a core benefit of the product essentially and out of those core benefits we then want to move on and generate a usable script for TikTok. So remember just because you've got the benefits listed down it doesn't mean you've got a full script yet. You need to get what the benefits are going to be. You need to think about how long you want your script to be because that's going to determine how many words and characters you're going to ask the AI to provide for you and then we need to think about the tone of the script as well. Some scripts are serious, some are sad, some are humorous, that sort of stuff and this is all going to make sense in just a bit here and I am going to play the video that I've generated by the way towards the end of this video so you can see my example of a similar type of video as well and I will link all the tools I'm using in the description by the way and I will link um, any prompts as well that I've used to generate my video so you guys can get some inspiration on generating your video as well. So essentially that's your homework if you're watching this video. See if you can come up with a similar, not exactly copy frame by frame and word for word, but a similar type, uh, type of video to the one that I have come up with as a result of being inspired by these creators here. Now that we've talked about what we want to come out of the script, now there's two ways you can go about generating a script for a TikTok shop affiliate product. This is assuming, by the way, you've already picked the product that you are going to be promoting. You've already maybe looked on Kalo Data and seen an example like this, and you've decided that you're going to be promoting this better alt Himalayan Shilajit product here, which I'm going to base this example off of. So we are going to go on to 
Amazon. Now you can do this on TikTok as well. You can do it on any marketplace. But what I've done is I've searched for this product on Amazon because Amazon tends to have some really good copy about what the core benefits are for that particular product. So here, as you can see, I've already highlighted them there. Those are kind of the focus areas that we want to tell the potential buyers about the benefits that they're going to be getting from this product. But you don't need all of them, but I've, I've copied all of them here um, so I can then take them into ChatGPT to generate the script out of all of this. Now, again, you can use ChatGPT. I'm using ChatGPT at the moment because it's the most famous. It's not my favorite, if I'm being honest, and it's not um, up to date past 2021 unless you're paying for it. There is another really good tool called Gemini which used to be Google Bard. That is the one that I use day in, day out. It's completely free and it can browse the internet. But for the sake of this example, I'm gonna use ChatGPT because a lot of people know it. A lot of people have access to it already. So I've copied the main benefits of the product. And as you can see, this is the exact same product that is on TikTok that is being promoted. It's important that you find the exact same product. Don't get copy and information of a completely different product because you might get a violation on TikTok. In this case, it's definitely this same product that is being promoted here that I've found on Amazon. And again, you can find this information off the TikTok shop as well. I just find that Amazon tends to have enough information for what I need. And then from there, you can go on to ChatGPT, which I've done here. And as you can see, I've pasted the benefits at the top there. And I've asked ChatGPT to please generate a short TikTok script for a 40 second video. I'm saying 40 seconds because I want to try and get it as close to these examples as possible. One is 50 seconds here and another one is 30 seconds. So I'm kind of trying to find the middle ground. So I say a 40 second video with a hook, body and call to action for the viewer to save this video at the beginning and click the link below to try the product. Please emphasize the three main benefits and examples. Now you need to note here that I've said three, even though there's five benefits here. So again, I wanna try and keep this script short. So three main benefits and examples, please use a humorous tone in a simple language that anyone can understand. So again, with health products, you can very easily get carried away and use jargon. So you wanna try and keep the language simple so that anyone that watches the video, regardless of comprehension levels, regardless of education levels, can understand the benefits and what you're saying. And uh, yeah, so that's all copied there. ChatGPT um, has then come up with this script here based on these benefits. Now here, you can either take the first one that it comes out with, or you can just keep prodding it until it comes up with a script that you're happy with. In this case, for the sake of this example, I've gone with this first script that it's come up with here. Um, I've not really been too picky. And there we go. We've now got a script, which we can then use a little bit later on when we are generating the AI voiceover, which we're going to talk about in just a bit here as well. So that's my script ready. Now, this is the slightly longer way of getting your product script. Now, the quickest and the shortest way, if you use the link that I've left in the description and use Kalo Data, it's actually got a really useful feature where you can download the actual video um, script from the video that you are from the creator that's generated the revenue um, on Kalo Data. So word for word, you can get that script down and you can essentially use that for inspiration. Now, I've already done this. Um, I've asked it to download the script word for word and going back to ChatGPT, I took that script and used it in this prompt a little bit further down here. And what I've done here is I've asked it to rewrite the script, changing some of the words to make it unique. And the reason why I've done that is because obviously you don't want to copy you know, word for word, someone else's script. It's just, you know, some people would do it, but it just doesn't, it's not something that lies very well with me. Um, as a person, it's entirely up to you, but you know, um, there's no guarantee either way that you're going to get the same result as them if you use word for word, but generally it's not something that I would do. You never know. Even that creator that you're copying might have used someone else's script as well. That's, that's just, you know, the, the internet. But yeah, I've taken that script. This is the $22,000 in under seven days script, I believe. And I've asked ChatGPT uh, again to rewrite it. And ChatGPT has kindly rewritten that script for me just to make it slightly unique. What I have then done is I have copied the script. I've left out these opening shots and these descriptions here because the voice generator is not going to need any of that stuff. What I need is just this um, main core material here to get the script out to get the information I want out. Once you've copied those bits, you just want to save them on a Word document, Google Sheets or whatever other document that you've got or on your you know, desktop or whatever. 
um, once you've got them saved you've essentially got the script that you are now ready to take onto your ai voice generator again the prompts that i have talked about here on chat gpt i will um, have those in the description all that being done and said the next step is to generate an AI voice and there's a reason why this is the next steps. This sequence is very important because the part after the AI voice generation is dependent on having the AI voice ready. So, you know, this is not random that we're just following it in this sequence. This is very, very important. It's very specific reason why we're doing this as you'll see towards the end of the video. So the tool that we're going to use for AI voice generation is called 11 labs and um, i cannot praise 11 labs enough i've talked about it plenty of times on this channel both for the purposes of being a tiktok shop affiliate and for the creativity program beta and just generally if you're someone that creates videos using ai online with the intent of not using your own voice 11 labs is the top one out there there are hundreds potentially thousands of other free ai generators out there use the one that you're most familiar with and the one of your choice but in terms of quality i would recommend 11 labs again it will be linked in the description and as you can see i have taken the script from chat gpt um, i have then put that into 11 labs and i have asked 11 labs to generate an ai voiceover based on that script now a couple of important things to note here you need to make sure there's no characters you know inverted commas too many spaces you just want to double check that your script is coherent and it sends the message that you want to send uh, for example if i copied this script as it is here 11 labs is going to try and read all of this stuff here and it's going to literally describe everything you can see here which we don't want if i leave these spaces as they are here 11 labs is also going to take pauses between saying the stuff that it's saying because it thinks i want it to pause during these spaces here so this is why it's important for you to do a little bit of cleaning up and make sure that a the script is nice and short b it says what you wanted to say c there's no spaces there's no descriptions like you know voiceover cut to close up none of that stuff needs to be there and once you've cleaned it up just double check it and make sure it says what you wanted to say on 11 labs and then you ask adam to generate that voice for you and i say adam because this is the voiceover that a lot of creators are using online you've probably heard it on thousands of videos now so it's the most recognizable but there are tons of other voices that you can use as well depending on the impression the tone of your video um, that you want to come out with so in this case i've used adam there and yeah so what we've then done, I've left all the default settings, by the way. There's a lot you can do on 11 Labs in terms of messing around with the voice, stability, clarity, and all that stuff. But for this example, I've just left it as default settings, which generally tends to work anyway. Now, another thing that's important to make sure after you've generated that chat GPT script, what you'll notice that I did, which ties into what's happening right now on 11 Labs, I've said TikTok script for 40 second video. And the reason why I've said that is I wanted to make sure that the voiceover that comes out on 11 Labs is not too long. I did not want a 50 second video. I did not want a one minute video. I did not want a two minute video. I wanted it to be a 40 second video. What ChatGPT did is make sure that the word count is enough and the character count is enough for a 40 second video here, which is why it's important for you to describe how long you want the video script to be. So it ties into the length of the video that you want, which again is why it's important to just make sure that when you're looking at the videos that are your inspiration, you're looking at how long those videos are as well, because it's going to inform what you're asking AI to do, because AI will always just do what you tell it to. In some cases, it won't come out how you want if you're not being clear enough. Again, I will play the result of how this sounds towards the end of the video. Now that we've got the voice generated, what I've done is download it, just download it, and you can save it onto your desktop, some way easily accessible, so that you can access it later when you are editing your video. And again, 11 Labs will be linked in the description, but again, feel free to use any AI text to voice to of your choice this is just the best one in my opinion that all being done by the way if you are enjoying this free course this free tutorial i'm doing here please do drop a big thumbs up to this video i would like as many people as possible to see this video i'm overdue a viral video i've never really had a viral video on youtube so the more people see this it's just kind of me understanding that you guys are enjoying the free material that i am putting out there and you're finding it helpful 
After the AI voice, the next step is to generate images. Now, again, speaking to the sequence of the steps that we're taking, the images need to be tied to the voice that you've generated. Without the voice that you've generated, there's really not much point creating the images. Yes, you can create the images just from the script, but I would prefer to just use, have the voice ready first, create the images, and once the images are created, you can then tie them back into that voice in terms of editing them. So now that you've got all the other stuff ready, the images, the tool that I use, again, there's a hundred thousand different tools online for generating images. The one that I prefer is Midjourney. And what I've done in terms of how to prompt these images out of Midjourney. So in terms of how to generate these images from Midjourney, what I've done there is go onto the script that ChatGPT generated. And I've used this script as inspiration for what's gonna come out um, on of mid journey so if you just read the script again see what it's trying to say see what what each line is saying and out of that that should give you some inspiration in terms of the type of image that you want from mid journey for example here it's saying about unto untouched heights of himalayan mountains so that straight away gives you an idea of you know prompting out mountains or you know remote mountains mount everest that sort of stuff out of mid journey um, you've got a bunch of other stuff here revitalized energy so someone that's very energetic someone that's perhaps strong a superhero um, you've got treasure there so there's a lot of keywords here that can spark ideas in your mind in terms of what images you want to come out of your ai image generator and this is where you can be a bit unique different because you can't necessarily copy other people's images you've got the video but in terms of the individual images you haven't got access to the source file so you can't take the exact images and put them into mid journey so this is where you can kind of play around have fun and come out with your own creativity now another key um, tip for this is to use chat GPT so what you can do is ask chat GPT to create a prompt for you that you can then use on mid journey so if you don't know how to prompt on mid journey you can just go into chat GPT and say this is what I want I want an image of a person that is flying wearing a Superman suit during a sunny day can you break this down into a prompt for me that I can use on an online image generator. You can then take that information, clean it up, and then put it onto a tool like Midjourney, and it's gonna come up with those images for you. Again, this may work slightly differently depending on the tool that you're using, but for Midjourney, typically, this is the kind of process that you would follow. Also, you watch the video that is your inspiration and see if, you know, what ideas you get from that video and kind of write them down, note them down. Okay, they've got an image of a man that's sad. Okay, they've got an image of a woman crying. Okay, they've got an image of a man laying in hospital. They've got an image of someone running, someone happy, someone looking at their phone. And that will then inform the types of prompts that you're going to put into your image generator to come out with that information. For me, as you can see, I have taken the script and I have asked Midjourney to come out with a bunch of images here. These are the same images that I have used in the video, which again, I will play to you at the um, towards the end of the video as my result. But these images basically make up the video. They sit nicely on top of the audio that I've extracted from 11 labs and they are going to be the visuals for the video. Specifically in Mid Journey, all you do is just uh, right click, uh, left click on it, and just save the image, um, and that saves into your desktop or folder, wherever it is you, you you want to save it. You can also open it in browser and save it that way. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to get the images out of the tool. And yeah, it's again pretty straightforward. So far, I would say I was around um, 20, 25 minutes in at this point in terms of how long it took me from start to finish. So this does not take long, especially if you do it over and over again. The more you do it, the quicker you will get at this. And again, this should give you an idea of how long it took these guys to create these types of videos, which have generated them this amount of money. And even better, you can create a library of these images. If you are in the same niche, you can have a library of similar types of images that you can use over and over again, which makes your video creation process even faster. So you don't have to keep prompting images, which is again, another good reason why it's important to try and find a niche and stick to that niche. In this case, we can see that these creators are within sort of the health wellness niche and the videos that they are creating are more or less 
towards that side of things. So you've now got your images, you've saved them from your image generation tool. You are now ready to take that onto your video editor. You've got your audio, your AI voice has been generated with 11 labs. You've also got a nice tight script which has formed and created that audio, that AI voice, which you can now put onto um, your editor tool. So the next logical step here now is to put an edit into a free tool like 11. I'm obsessed with 11 labs, a free tool like CapCut. So I'm just gonna go into my CapCut here. So as you can see, I'm just gonna come out there so you guys can, there we go. So as you can see here, I've taken these different images that I've generated from Mid Journey and I have created this video here. And what I've done is it's very, very straightforward. Guys, again, I'm about 30 minutes or so into the process now. All I've done is I've downloaded those images into um, mid into um, CapCut. And what I've done is I've downloaded the audio, it's at the bottom there, into CapCut as well. There at the bottom looking green. And literally all I've done, there's no need to go overboard. There's no reason to be to, to go too fancy. Obviously, it's up to you if you want to spend more time and make your video as shiny as possible you can. But for me, I wouldn't go too overboard, especially at the beginning stages when you're trying to get your feet wet and understand what works and what doesn't work. So literally all I've done here is take those images, uh, put them on top of the audio and I've adjusted the length of the images to kind of match with the sentences that are coming up with the audio. So in a way, if you've got like one sentence, for example, you have one image for every sentence. In some cases, it might be one image for every two sentences. But the key important thing, you wanna make sure that your video has motion, it keeps moving, you don't have the same image on for too long, otherwise people are gonna get bored and drop off. But key for TikTok, the first three seconds is where you want people to keep watching continuously. Because after that first three seconds, if you get as many people as possible to keep watching, all the way past the first three seconds, that's a really good signal for TikTok to push your, your video out. And um, so it, you know, it has that potential for virality and the longer they watch, which is what you want, um, the more chances the video will go viral. And you'll notice as well on the script um, that I generated from ChatGPT, I asked people to save the video. All of this ties in together. Another, the reason why I'm asking people to save the video at the beginning of the script is so that that sends a good signal to TikTok that people are interacting with this video and they are saving it, they are showing interest in it and TikTok will then look for more people to watch this video. That's the first call to action I use and the last call to action is when I ask them to click the link at the bottom in order to get themselves that Shilajit product there. Now, in terms of the technicalities on this, I don't use CapCut desktop a lot. I use mobile more than desktop. So um, I'd probably give you guys a nice long tutorial on how to put together a coherent video using mobile. But on desktop, this is the free version, by the way, I'm not paying for desktop. Um, the desktop, desktop version, all I've done is put the images, make sure that they align to the sentences that are said in the video. Um, I've also put transitions after every image. And what I've done is if I click onto one of the transitions here, so all you do is just hover in between two images. It's gonna give you an option for a transition. And all I've done is just use the free transitions that are offered by um, CapCut there. I've not used anything fancy. And all I've done is make sure that every transition is completely different to the one before just to keep the fluid movement. I'm just going to scroll through it now so you can see what I'm talking about. So every single transition is different and this is, you know, just hoping to get people to watch for longer because every time they're seeing something different to what they were seeing before. Now, for this particular example, I have used more or less the same images. Some of them I've used them twice. And again, this is me just being lazy, um, but you can use a unique image for every different sentence. Um, I mean, there's not too many images that you need for a 40 second video like this, to be honest, maybe, you know, 20, 25, maybe 30, if you want the images to kind of go in and out really quickly. But in this case, I think I've used about um, 11 different images. And I've also gone in and put in some captions as well. And again, these are just the free ones, nothing fancy at all. Um, and all I've done is just, if you click on the captions, I have, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's probably, you probably can't see it properly, but I've just selected the font 
that I'm going to be using. Um, I've just selected the um, Della Gothic uh, bold font here. It's um, 10, um, the size of the font, and I have applied to all. And what I've also done is um, I have put in selected the stroke option here so there's those black lines outside the white letters there so it's really comes out and as pronounced and it stays clear on every single frame here and that's pretty much it and i've just applied it to all keeping it as simple and as straightforward as possible so that it's a quick process one of the worst things that can happen to you is spending a long time editing a video and only getting 10 20 views out of that video so you really unless you're using a proven method that has generated a ton of money for you before and you know that the longer you spend on it the more money you make you know hold my hands up that's absolutely fine but if it's a nice short video you want to get out and you're just still testing the water still trying to learn what works don't spend too long on it and you can pretty much achieve the same result as well even if you are using the mobile version of tiktok by the way even if it is the free version you can still get something similar i've also cut up the captions here um manually it's a very short script so i didn't mind just cutting them up manually all i did was just go onto the left hand side there and if you want to cut it up you literally just click next to the word and you just hit enter on your keyboard and that will create a, a new different captions just to again make sure that i only have you know one two maybe three words on the same frame at a time um, and not too many and another key thing that you want to do as well which i've mentioned on previous videos this is to prevent potentially getting a violation of tiktok you need to have the product in the video at some point because the TikTok AI will look for the product as it analyzes your video even if you are using an AI generated video and you'll notice what I've done here is I've got a video of someone actually using um, Sheila Jit here and a bit further down I've also got the actual image of the product Sheila Jit in there as well so TikTok can see that I'm not only just talking about the product I'm all, I've not only linked um, the purchase link for the product it is actually in the video as well if you do this and you do not have the product somewhere in the video then you potentially could get a violation of tiktok um, because you're breaking the terms on the e-commerce terms for tiktok shop for that but i'll probably do another video at a later stage delving into the terms of service for tiktok shop affiliate in a lot more detail if you guys would like to see that video let me know in the comments and if you do put that comment in as well i will know that you've watched my video all the way up until this point so really really important and this is a mistake that a lot of new tiktok shop affiliates are making they don't have the product in the video it needs to be in the video now the genius thing here is as well even if you don't have the product in hand and this is a slightly sneaky way of doing things um you can clip someone else using the product you just have to be really careful obviously you don't want to show that person's face you don't want to have anything that kind of sh obviously shows that this ties back into that person's video you don't want to have something that will obviously show that you know this is victor's video i've copied victor's face using shilajit i've put it in my own video because then i will be able to see that and you don't want that so if you've got images like here on amazon for example of someone um, showcasing using Shilajit. Maybe you can clip some of that as well. If there's any sort of free stock videos of someone using this, if you go into the Shilajit website and there's someone actually using Shilajit, um, Shilajit there, maybe you can grab some of that. But wherever you are able to grab an image of someone using Shilajit as well as a, you know, maybe a still, one still in there and one actual video of someone actually digging into it and using it the way that it needs to be used, then that shows TikTok again that you have got the product. And again, the earlier you can get that image of the product in, the better as well. Um, so it shows TikTok that you are potentially, you know, promoting the product. The one thing that TikTok can't track is whether you've purchased that product yourself or not, or whether you've been given it as a free sample uh, or how you got that product essentially. So this kind of creates a slight loophole here, which these people here are exploiting, um, which means they do not have to have the product in hand. But you need to have the product in hand first and foremost. That is the rule. You need to have gotten it by a sample or purchased it somewhere else. If you don't, this is what other people are doing, just so you guys are aware. So you've now got a full video coherent. Um, you, In terms of music, by the way, I've not used music. Um, I tend to just wait until the video is on TikTok. Um, I also take, follow the guidance of these creators here. A lot of TikTok shop affiliate creators that I've done case studies on do not have uh, do not use music they just use their original sound um their 
this one here as well you've got original sound um so you know if you can use music i don't i don't know that it makes much of a difference but i would say just as a starting point maybe don't add any music you know if you want to add, add sound effects or whatever and you know you've got the premium version of CapCut, you know go crazy do that but to keep things simple i would not add any music i would wait until the video is pretty much ready to upload on tiktok and then decide at that point and also in terms of the actual tiktok description again kalo data's got you covered there you can actually click on the video link that will take you into tiktok and you can actually see that creator's description of the video and a lot of the time they the creators don't put a huge long description there it's usually just a few words um, you've got your hashtags there that you can use and that is essentially your video description obviously you want to make sure that you have also um, linked the product in the description as well hey there fellas ever noticed your wife's expression post bust save this video because you're about to learn a thing or two about testosterone and vitality first off if things aren't looking so good post bust it might be a sign of low testosterone but if you're leaving a mess behind, well, let's just say your testosterone levels might be off the charts. Enter Sheila G, the ultimate healer of all weaknesses, 10 times stronger than anything else out there. Our ancestors swore by it as a fuel source for centuries. With its 87 minerals, it's like rocket fuel for your energy levels and a natural booster for your testosterone. So, what are you waiting for? Give Sheila G a try and unleash your inner powerhouse today. Here's to vitality and strength.